Greetings, everyone. This is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 20 of my Let's Play of Molten Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. I found out how to get Leviathan to join your party. As you recall, may recall, we defeated her some time back. Well, pretty much right after we met her. After we sided with the pirates, we came here and beat her. And at the time, we asked her to join our party, and she said no. She says she's the Marine Admiral, and she's got her duty to attend to. This is what you need, though. Selene apparently knows her. Calls her Leviathan. Yeah, that's funny. But anyway, she's gotten quite impressive. Risen to quite a height. You're... No way! Captain Selene! You're alive! You have survived! I joined the Marines to try and find you. And before I knew it, I'd risen to... the well, Admiral's ship. Hmm, sorry, but I'm not alive. What you see before me is only a ghost's body. But to meet you again, I thought I'd never be able to see your, <laughs> to see your cutting figure. Hmm, well, you two seem to be pretty intimate, don't you? Yeah. Leviathan here. Is, was, a member of the Selene Pirates. At the time, she was just... Oh. Just one little dragon child, so small you could hold her in the palm of your hand. She was having trouble in the storm, and we protected her on the ship. She became our mascot, actually. All the crew took care of her. Hey, quit talking about this stuff. Uh, my childhood stuff. Yeah, just don't bring that kind of crap up, will ya? Uh, how embarrassing, huh? Uh, so, that being how it is, would you like to become our ally? Won't you, though? Look, I told you already. I'm the Marine Admiral. I have important duties. Oh, that was... In the Whale Sea, during the Great Storm, wasn't that the time? That night, in your bed. Oh, she's gonna try and embarrass her into joining. I guess it works. Alright, I'll come, I'll come with you. I'll be your ally, so shut the hell up. <laughs> Live ya. Okay, great. Yeah. It's good to be working with you, Levia Chan. Da! Ah! How embarrassing. Hmm, so she used to be a dragon child, too. Like all the rest of these girls. So one of these girls could grow up into a Leviathan, huh? Hmm, curious. Okay, that's that. Now, there are... Oops, I forgot something. Wait one moment. There we go. Much better. You know, honestly, I shouldn't have even gone from this location. Where's Magistea? Okay, first, here's an Uncharted Island. It's right here. You can find it outside of Magistea easily. And on it is... a polar bear girl. That's the sound effect of sobbing. Um... I really don't know how to make that sound effect. But it's the sound effect of sobbing, okay? So, on this island, there's... just well, this one polar bear. Is this girl lost? Well... Polar bear girls sometimes end up riding icebergs out to the south. And just following the currents of the sea, she ended up on this solitary island. Probably. 
Ah, poor girl. Just sitting here sobbing. Hey, we can't just leave her like this. She's too pitiful. How about we take her to where her friends are? Okay, we can say yes or we can say leave her. But we don't know where to take her to. And we can't just wander around with her aimlessly. You have no idea how many girls we picked up aimlessly. But anyway, fine. This one will leave right here by herself in the middle of an ocean. Because we don't know exactly where to take her at the very moment. Okay, so we're going to search for your hometown and we're certain to come back and pick you up again. She just sobs in response. Yeah, it's sad, but we can't do anything for her now. Until we find where the polar bear girls live. Here's another Uncharted Island. It's actually quite close to... Hmm, curious. Yep, it's right on the opposite side from that island there. Anyway, this one is... Well, if you're ever worried that you would run out of Hakum Iri Musume to fight, there are random encounters in this zone where you can fight more of them. In case, I don't know, you don't get her collected as your ally, you can eventually come back here in the late game and fight all of them you want. But anyway, we're here to find the Fairy Island. This is the Fairy Island, and it's a jungle. Kind of growing so thick it's turned into a labyrinth. Seriously, it's bad. I, I don't even know how to get through here. I just wander around until I find a place I recognize, and then I go to the boss. In any case, the Queen Elf should be in here, in the deepest portion. If we can defeat her, then the threat to the Noah region will be dispersed. We defeated the Queen Fairy already in Grand Noah. She said that they had a grudge against humans for destroying nature. Stealing their habitat. Well, we should have ears to hear that opinion, but they just marched out by force, so we can't forget that. And furthermore, they kind of got permission from the Ma'ol to take over this human country, that human country. Accepting that kind of mission, well, they're going to have a hard time convincing us they're right here. Well, they may have a hard time convincing that to us, but we've got to make something work out here. So let's get to the Queen Elf. This place is impossible. Okay, second screen. I'm like halfway there. Was it here? No. Aha. Okay, if you descend down these vines, you'll get to the central area of the fairy... fairy island, yes. And the queen elf is down there. Please, you've got to show her the error of her ways. Normally, she wouldn't, you know, use force wouldn't even consider using force. But somehow, in the vicinity, this uneasy mist has descended. And little by little, the actions and reason of everybody around here is getting corrupted. Hmm. That's truly... Yes, Alice felt it too. In this forest, there's... A wavelength. This uh, this aura that's filled with hatred and anger. It's unusually weak, but 
This is a type of curse that manipulates people's spirits. At this, at this strength, it'd only be able to bring to the surface suppressed emotions, suppressed angers. Hmm. So somebody's set this field down in order to manipulate the elves' spirits. The epicenter of the curse actually doesn't seem to be this forest. It seems to be coming from the northwest. Hmm. In any case, this curse field isn't actually aimed at the elves. And if you're talking about to the northwest here, that would be the world tree. Hmm. Well, if there's something going on with the world tree, and it's disordering the elves here, then the elves might be, you know, suffering from it. Hmm. Well, there's a certain range, and the curse field lost its strength getting this far. But it doesn't change the fact that the elves are, did originally have some enmity towards the humans. Well, it looks like our convincing them is going to be tough, but let's go down these vines and get to the central portion. Now, before I get to the boss... Oh, is that a spoiler? There's going to be a boss. Well, naturally, there's always a boss. This is a Queen Elf. Okay. You humans, you've set foot this far into our space. Are you not satisfied with polluting your own environment? Hey, we're here to put a stop to you. You tried to take by force a human kingdom, and that's a mistake. So, what are you saying here? This is a fight for survival. The one who loses will be destroyed. Huh. Looks like she's not going to lend an ear to us. So, let's calm her down by force. And then we'll ask about more normal stuff. Alright. Come at me, hero. And all of your friends. We'll show you the anger that's been building up in the elves and fairies all this time. No way, that my power wouldn't be good enough. My race's ambitions are going to end here. Hmm. Well, your complaints against the humans we can understand, but the way you've been handling them is mistaken. Let's talk this out. Now, we won't say that we can solve everything with talking, but you've been ignoring the possibility entirely too much. If you would talk to the humans, they would understand, at least, why you people are angry. But you didn't even set down any conditions, you just attacked. You just straight up attacked. You're a fool. Like humans would lend an ear to our voice. Say that after trying it. And furthermore, since you're shut up in the forest like you are, you're just sitting here with your enmity. Do you even know how the humans and monsters have been getting along in the recent years? Apparently not. So you've been just sitting back here, thinking yourselves victims, and then you randomly lashed out. That's your mistake here, Queen Elf. Well, you don't need to blame her so much. 
the humans will, if she has a complaint, listen. <laughs> Perhaps. Anyway, if the various countries would get together and talk things out, they'd be able to work things out somehow or another. So we should try a peaceful solution. But I have the duty to protect my people's environment. Hmm, well. Oh, I was getting tired of that conversation anyway. Oh, what's this? Looks like she failed, as expected. Ah, uh, yeah, elves are no good after all. When push comes to the shove, they always fall down. You guys are... Your followers of Kareen Arulane, right? Hmm, yes, we've fallen in with the Black Alice. In other words, we're the enemies of you elves who follow Alice Fees the 15th. Queen Alderaun, eh? Has joined forces with the Black Alice. There's no way. She is far too peaceful. Hmm, even if you don't want to remember it. We're already the followers of Black Alice. So, since you guys have been... Hmm. I had a word and it left me. <sighs> ah, yes. So, since you have been expending yourself fighting with the humans, why don't we take advantage here? And the Fairy Islands defenses have gotten quite lax. We were able to get in so easily. How about we just take it? Like I would allow it. The fighting, the damage from the fight is... Oh, so... From the fight with the battle, you can hardly stand. So, why don't we claim the Queen Elf's life here? <laughs> you think we're gonna let you? We'll fight! Thanks to you guys talking your mouths off, we pretty well understand the circumstances. And it seems like you guys have been brainwashed here. So, you guys are rather expended from your fight with the Queen Elf as well. So, this is the time when we get to defeat all of you at once. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, so, they still had some power in them. I'm gonna run away now. Hey, wait! Like that ever works. Hmm, so, Queen Ararani has fallen into the orbit of Black Alice. And they waited for our fight in order to try and take advantage. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> okay, Queen Elf. There's one more matter to attend to. We've noticed that although it's light, there's a spiritual manipulation going on here. We are? It's true, and now that you mention it, there's an unsettling signal that I feel. I've got to... I'm going to try to cancel it here. All right. She's set up a protection aura all around the fairy island. With this, that curse waves won't be able to have any effect. And it's true. I feel that I was taken over by the hatred there. The source of the waves is the world tree. The place where the Queen Alarone lives. So, we're also thinking that the Queen Alarone has been brainwashed. 
by Black Alice, or probably one of her underlings. Oh, and I didn't even notice I was taken in by that curse completely. And I fought with the humans. Such shameful behavior. I'm not even qualified to be queen. I've got no face to show to my brethren or to you people. <laughs> even if you don't have a face here, you're the ones who's leading the elves. As the queen of one race, you need to do what you're required to do. Hmm. Yes. So, I'm going to handle all the elves and fairies. I'm going to pull all our soldiers back from Grand Noah and acknowledge our mistake. Huh. It's not like the whole thing is solved, but... It's not like this solves everything, though. The Queen Arane thing, we still need to do something about. Yes, it's a different matter than the... Assault on the Four Kingdoms, but we can't leave it alone, either. As long as Black Alice is manipulating, we nah. We don't know what they're going to do. So then, let's head into the World 3. If I recall properly, it's to the Northwest. Good job, Luca. Well, in this matter, I'd like to help as well. But, in the battle with you guys, I took too much damage. I've been hearing that too much from the people we fight. I'd like to help, but you hurt me too badly. So, I can't move here, but... Talk to the, the other elves and fairies around here. They'll be sure to help, to offer their services. They've got rare goods, and we've got a very good blacksmith. So, before you go to the World Tree, please, speak to all of them. Yeah, sure, great. Alright, so, let's head to the World Tree and fix the brainwashing Queen Aurane. Furthermore, let's not forget to report to Queen Grand Noah. My intuition says that she may have something good to give us. How nice. Perhaps it's best that we did that first. And after that, we'll move on to our next objectives. Yeah, whatever. This is the blacksmith in question. She says she's let it, met a legendary blacksmith, Randolph, before. In Goldport. She has to be his pupil, but he turned her down. And he went off and retired to some town somewhere. He wanted to set, set down his hammer and never work again or something. Now we can warp to the Fairy Island. Which is a hell of a lot easier than any other way of getting out of that maze. Now, the World Tree. Man, this is a big tree. And the interior of the tree is turned into a dungeon. Naturally. Well, this is the holy ground of the elf of all the plant monsters, the world tree. The Queen Alrown is probably in the top level. Furthermore, the spiritual manipulation curse is coming from here without a doubt. Thanks to it being here, the Fairy Island had those side effects. So this particular curse was originally aimed at the plants. It was just a coincidence that the residents of the Fairy Island had effects. Hmm, that's a pretty big curse to hit a whole island and then hit the next one over. In this circumstances, 
We should probably think that it's one of the Black Alice gang. So they're hoping to... Hmm. Oh yes, while we were fighting with the elves, they tried to take advantage of a, our fight afterwards. Oh. Oh, hey, you again. Hey, don't you know this is the holy ground of the plants? You can't walk in here with your muddy feet. Oh, I'd be sure to wipe my feet. Your face looks like a nice place. Sorry, but we're coming in if by force if we must. We're going to solve this brainwashing of you guys. Oh, so it's an assault, is it? In that case, I'm going to ring you every bit of energy you have. Yeah, you talk big for a mook. This is why I hate humans. Ah, sucker. Alright, let's move on in. We've got to return Queen Alrauni to her senses. As for undoing the curse, leave that to me. As long as we can get to the source of it, then removing the curse should not be difficult at all. Also, we heard that we could get rainbow crystals here in the World Tree. It'll be necessary in order to make rainbow equipment, so let's not forget that. I gotta say, the dungeons are getting more elaborate the further you get into this game. Or maybe I just think it's elaborate because I haven't played it inside and out like I played the l first chapter. I did do a trial run, so I know where I'm going, though. How pretty! This must be the rainbow crystals. Oh yeah, that's crystal looking and also rainbow looking. Alright, if we have this, the smith of the elves should be able to make rainbow equipment for us. It's even better than Aura Halkin equipment. So it'll be a big help. Oh, I see a recovery circle. You know what that means. We're about to get our asses kicked. How are you humans coming this far? I'm the great king of the queen of the plants. So what use do you have? So what business you have with me? Man, she's a really big plant. So this monster's queen of the plants. So, oh, I pressed the skip button instead of the advance button. But it's mostly Luca wanted to say that we don't want to fight her. We want to release her brainwashing. And Alice immediately says. Look, she's too far gone to actually listen to us. We're going to have to beat her down first. So, that's how we got where we are. Oh, the great queen of the plants has fallen. At the hands of humans, no less. Look, Queen Alrani. You've been brainwashed. You may not have noticed, well, obviously not, but you've been consumed by this hatred field. Normally you're so calm and peaceful, and we're going to have you return to that state. Mephisto, do the honors. Oh, leave it to me. When it comes to brainwashing effects, it's easier to remove them than to set them up, actually. So, did it work? I don't know, somebody has something to say. Oh, do you think I'm going to let you do that? Azidahaka. This is... Yes, yes, it's a mythical creature from Iranian... Iranian legend. In any case, she's a great tyrannical snake, possessing a thousand curses. And 
and underling of Black Alice. So, finally we brought the origin of the curse out into the open. Indeed, the one who set this curse upon the Queen of Plants is none other than myself. I'm following Black Alice's will and sowing disorder in the world. That's my role. Eh, simple as that, huh? No way. I've been manipulated by this person. Well, we finally got our hands on the queen of plants here. And now she's returned to her senses. That's simply no fun. So how about I extinguish you with these interlopers as well? Hey, we've got something to say here. Using brainwashing, you manipulated these plants into doing your bidding. We can't forgive you. We're gonna kick you out of the world tree. Oh, damn you, you manipulated me. And thanks to that fight just now, I don't have the power to fight back, but she restores our HP and MP. I've restored your power. So, take care of this <laughs> person. Take care of this villain who tried to overwhelm my heart. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> huh. The people and monsters of this age simply can't hold a candle to me. So, I'm going to defeat you all. Yeah, like we're going to lose. How about the... Hey, she gave us an item, didn't she? Hmm, this is unexpected. To think you'd have enough bones. What is Black Alice planning? This isn't exactly a prank to be disordering the world like this. What's she after? Well, to her, this world is... Nothing but a stage. So every she gives people her roles, and I too don't know why. And you're happy with this? Well, I guess I'll retreat for now. You guys were fighting for great justice and all. So, later. Wait! Oh, come on. Does that ever work? If we want people to wait, we better just knock them out entirely. Huh. Okay. But the curse... The spiritual manipulation curse has disappeared, it seems. So, have you cooled your head here, Queen Aldaone? Yes, I've finally been returned to my senses. Oh, what foolish things I've been doing. Ah, jeez. There's been a lot of brainwashing going on around here. This person, that person. It's just a rampant disorder going on. Yeah, I think the first one was Queen Savasa. And there was King Grangold. And then the elves, and fairies, and the Aldrani. Hmm. Okay. It is truly embarrassing that I should fall into their orbit so easily. Those people who are trying to disorder the world. Huh. Oh, but she has heard of us in rumors. Fighting against the Mao's tyranny for the sake of peace and stuff like that. Oh, splendid. The fish pirate's name has gotten as far as the Queen of Plants. Ah, Pony, you're awesome. You're kind of pathetic in your own way, but you're also awesome. 
Well, if the rumors get this far, I guess it's good that we've been doing our thing. So, would you like to lend your power to our cars? Well, I did cause a lot of trouble for you. And I have an excessive amount of gratitude to give to you. But due to being wounded as I am, I can't do very much. But I'll give you this. This is a star soul. Hmm. Okay, if we have this, we can get to the high-level jobs of the dancers and singers. But why is it that you have this? When I was younger, I wanted to be a star. Star? Hmm. <laughs> huh, well, I caused you a lot of trouble. But if you have any need of me, do not hesitate to sp speak. If it's something I can do, I would be glad to help. Mm, okay, so that solves this problem. So let's move on to the next. Come to think of it, we need a fruit of the world tree. Haven't you, have you not forgotten? The Queen Harpy is suffering from an illness and she needs it to be healed. Hmm, that's right. Let's talk, let's request it of Queen Alrani. Okay, talk to her again. Hmm, well, I still haven't healed yet. I'm sorry, I guess we overdid it. No, no, it was a necessary thing. Furthermore, I'm a specialist in medicine. It shouldn't take that long for me to heal. Um, could we request... Could we receive a fruit of the world tree from you? The Harpy Queen has an illness and she needs it. I see. But you're going to have to wait a little while. Is that alright? It takes some time to grow. It'll take a few days. Well, thank you very much. So we'll come after some time has passed. So a fruit of the world tree will take a little time. Right. This is a big help. Do you want me to take you to the interior of the island? Oh, fuck yes. Like I have time to wander through there again. So, Elf Blacksmith. You know what we're here for. Puppy wants to be the number one smith in the world, so she needs to learn how to forge rainbow. It's only passed down amongst the elves, she knows, but please, won't you? All right, I'll teach you. Is that it all? Well, you might not have heard, but I'll teach pretty much anybody. It's just something not everybody can do. Hmm. Alright, I'll do my best. So, please teach me. <laughs> this is hard. Well, you've got a good sense for manipulating metal. And she'll recognize it, but... The prism, the rainbow crystals have the power of the elements and your understanding of elements is still not there yet yeah I'm not going to give up yet yeah. the elements just won't come together I make a gap and it's so hard well you need to be familiar with nature if you can't hear the voice of it, then it's no use. That's why only elves can forge prism. Hmm, I'm not going to give up yet. I want to be the number one blacksmith in the world. Ah, oh, Puffy, you're awesome. No matter what I do, the wind and water elements just won't get along with me. 
these gaps show up and it won't come out as a pretty prism at all. Hmm. It's true you're very good at this. Your skill as a smith is without a doubt on a level, on a level with myself. But your sense of the elements is still, you don't have the experience. In this case, you won't be able to make elemental materials. Hmm, how about I lend a hand? Salamander, are you going to help me out? What? When I see some, see a little girl working so earnestly, I can't help myself. And if you're talking about manipulation of elementals, there's nobody better than the elemental spirits. Oh, thank you. So let's do it together. Hmm. You've got a good ally here. So, let's continue. Right, I'll show you. I can do this. All right. Match your timing up with me. Right, right, like that. Oh, this is going well, isn't it? I finally did it. The prism came out pretty and everything. Mm-hmm. Your effort paid off. Yes, that's a good job there. To think you'd be able to forge prisms, even if you did have a little help. And just now, didn't you get a little bit job all by yourself? If you get enough experience built up, you'll be able to do it on your own. It's thanks to everybody's help. My first master and the elves and the spirits. You have my gratitude. I love my bandit girls. Hmm, as of right now, you don't really have a name for yourself. But there's a lot of value to the skills you've picked up. Now you're numbered in the top five in the world of, of blacksmiths. So the number one is certainly the legendary Smith Randolph. Once I was able to see him at work, it was truly a god's craft. Ooh, a legendary Smith. I'd like to meet him. And I want him to teach me. You know, here she tells... Maybe I shouldn't have told that story before. So she says she met him and asked to be his pupil. She was refused. And he decided to retire to some town somewhere. She says it's her feeling as a smith as well. But she feels like he's already abandoned hit the hammer. Yeah, even more than that. She feels... Maybe she isn't. Maybe he doesn't even live in the world anymore. Hmm. That's kind of that kind of atmosphere is hard to think of. She'd like to get to the summit of the legendary Smith as well, and she was feeling like she was getting close. Mm, well, that's a little bit different. But... It's kind of a fact that the best material in the world isn't this rainbow stuff. But the best equipment made in the world is the stuff you can find in the Mao Castle. There's all kinds of legendary equipment there. Although its construction is unknown. Its method of construction is unknown. So, that stuff is certainly made from something different from Prism. But, even this blacksmith here doesn't know what. Star Metal. You know, just who are you? I'm the Mo. I know all kinds of... I have all kinds of knowledge about the time of legends and such. So, star metal is stuff that isn't 
is a type of metal that does not come from this world. It flies in here from outer space on meteors. And there's only a very little of it. An extremely rare, rare metal. That's what star metal is. Naturally, you can't exactly get your hands on it. At the current time, it's already all in use. What star metal does remains is was forged into this and that over 500 years ago. So what remains is already finished products. In the current age, it, they're basically the legendary weapons of the world. You know, the Elfsmith names off several of them. The legendary Seven Blades and the Steel cutting uh, sword. Zanke Zanketsuken. That's uh. Do you remember the Final Fantasy series? series? The Zanketsuken is. It's Odin? Not Odin. Maybe it was Odin. One of your summons will frequently sometimes come in at the beginning of battle and kill all your enemies all at once with a Zanketsuken. Okay, so she names off a few more. Kansho, Karo, Apocalypse, Mjolnir, World Chronicle. Hmm, okay. And furthermore, there's the equipment that was wielded by the hero Heinrich. It's actually preserved in the Maol Castle now. So all of this legendary equipment is probably made out of star metal. Ooh, this is so exciting. I'd like to be able to forge that star metal or whatever. Hmm. If we were speaking of the legendary Smith Randolph, he might be able to. But his techniques are lost. Maybe they can be reborn in the world somehow. Hmm. But we don't know where he is. Well, we've got to listen to rumors of it. Rumors of him on our journey onward. I'm not going to give up my hope, so I need to continue to go stronger. Hmm. Whew. Okay. I think we're ready to head to the next one. I wonder if you guys have any preference for the order. On the other hand, by the time I upload it, I'll probably have recorded all of it. So, how about I take a look? We've done the Fairy Island. How about Lila Waterfall? So, this is Lila Waterfall, and it's where the mermaids have their home base. So, that's what we get to watch next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you when we tackle the Lila Waterfall.